What's up everybody and welcome to Vivid Collectibles. My name is Danny and today I got a uh, pretty special review for you guys. This is of the uh, tweeter head Catwoman Miquette. Of course this is the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from the uh, movie Batman Returns. And uh, tweeter head is mostly known for making one six scale statues. They've been doing it for a long time and over the last couple of years they've really stepped up their game. I have right now the Hordak Miquette. And if you haven't seen that statue, it's chock full of details. One of the better statues that came out last year, but it is in a uh, fifth scale. So this is a quarter scale statue or a maquette, which is usually close to a quarter scale statue. This is distributed by Sideshow, who is now the exclusive distributor for Tweeterhead. So let's get right into the review. Now this is, like I mentioned before, from the Batman Returns movie. This is Michelle Pfeiffer. She's on a uh, rooftop for the uh, Shrek's department store and uh, I think they did a really cool job. I like the concept a lot on this. I like how they went with her laying down. Typically most of the statues are standing up or some kind of action pose. So this is pretty unique. I love the take. I think they did a really good job with the base and also the sculpt and paintwork on her. So let's get right into it. So you see the base is long. It's about 20 inches long. It may be 10 inches deep. And I think it's about 12 or 13 inches tall. So displaying her is going to be an issue horizontally, not so much vertically. So uh, it's a gray, pretty much a, a gray base, right? With some different shades here, some nice wear and tear, right? To give it some uh, realism. But it's pretty basic. You can see the uh, columns of the building, right? And then you have the uh, symbol for the Shrek department store, which is this little cat right there. Uh, this is the exclusive version which comes with Miss Kitty. Uh, they did a nice job with Miss Kitty. The eyes look amazing. The rest of it is pretty plain. Uh, I thought they could have done better with the fur. For some reason, none of these companies do a good cat. But it's an exclusive. It's not exclusive or bust. They made a lot of these. This is They made 2,500 of the exclusive and like 5,000 of the regular version. And it's, it's a beautiful piece. So I guess it was very popular. Uh, I think there's one quarter scale statue of the year I don't agree with that it's really well made it's awesome but I think there were better quarter scale statues on the market it's not a knock on this there was a lot of competition this is certainly well made so again the base is pretty plain right it's just a, a gray slab she's on a rooftop and it looks good good paintwork nice sculpt but the star of this particular statue is definitely Michelle Pfeiffer's portrait now I don't think it captured her likeness 100%. It looks very, very good. It's a beautiful portrait, and it, but it doesn't scream Michelle Pfeiffer to me. It looks like Michelle Pfeiffer. It's not perfect. Also, Michelle Pfeiffer is not that curvy, right? This cat woman has like booty. Michelle Pfeiffer really doesn't have booty. Again, I like it. I think this looks fantastic. So. The boots, you have these knee-high boots, right? And they're matte black. They look great. Nice leather boots. You see all the individual uh, shoelaces, right? As it goes up. Nice heels, very thick, very realistic. Great looking boots. They're straight out of the movie. And then her costume is this gloss black. It looks incredible. The paintwork on this is really, really, really good. And then you have all of the stitching because uh, it's a homemade outfit right out of the movie. So the stitching is good. They capture the outfit really well. What I love about this statue is that the pose is very sultry. It looks good and it's different, right? But this portrait is incredible. The, glit, the lips, the high gloss red, the eyes, all the makeup surrounding the eyes, the skin tones look very, very, very soft, very, very feminine. So that looks like Michelle Pfeiffer, right? And then the homemade mask. Everything's great. I love all of the uh, homemade claws, right? That she's got. They're all different. Supposedly, this is taken right out of the movie. And they look good. I don't know if they're metal or if they're sculpted, but they look good. Also, a standout for me is the whip. The whip is like some sort of like 
real material. It's not sculpted, it's not sculpted uh, but it's like woven nylon and it looks great. It's a gray, it's, it's bendable, it's flexible. It's got a nice flat tip in the end. That looks awesome along with, like I said, the claws that she has. So I think it's a really, really, really nice statue. Phenomenal piece. Is it the best statue of the year? Not in my opinion. I, I reviewed better ones myself. I, I think the Bane maquette uh, by Sideshow was better. I'm sure there's a lot of XM pieces in quarter scale. Shoot, the XM Samurai line is incredible. So this is, in my opinion, not better than the XM Joker Orochi or the Nightwing, which is also quarter scale. So again, it, Beauty's in the Eye of the Beholder, right? Whoever's reviewing these, it's whatever collectors prefer. I think this was a very popular piece. Also, the price point is very good. So I understand why a lot of people got it and a lot of people voted for it. But again, it's really well made. It's amazing. Certainly not for me, the statue of the year. But I'm glad I have it. Uh, let me know if you guys plan to get it. Again, it's not going to be a long review because it's not a whole lot to this particular statue. But what's there is really, really well made. So thank you for watching, guys. Till next time.